Yeah, this is going to be real serious because I, I, I'm telling you, man, I really want to know this. Now, I don't know about you, but I want to know if the road is round or flat. Because both sides give, uh, I guess, facts. But how can a normal man, you know, like you and me, check it? In order for me to give my opinion, I just deal with common sense and mathematics. And then you have to go well before Columbus and Magellan. And you know the Europeans. If they could have did it, they would have did it. Go around the earth, I mean. Maybe there's a reason that you can't go around. That's why Columbus stopped in Hispaniola and Magellan did the Cape of Good Hope. Because it's flat and not round, my opinion. This is not math that's on solid ground. The Bible describes the world as flat. The denial comes from scientists, heads of state, Jewish, Zionist, and Catholic. And it's also trickled down to us, the Baptists. Because, <laughs> you, know, you know, black people are. We believe what we read or what we were told, never what we search. The Bible says there's water. I bet you didn't even know this. The Bible says there's water above the firmament, not space, not space. But in that book or those books, religious books, I always have questions about the verse, the chapter, and the page. The stories of Osiris, Isis, Horus, Jesus, the Egyptian, Jewish myth, the creation. It's mind-boggling. It really is, man. It's mind-boggling, to say the least, that two different stories of God can match over centuries, almost identically, of the same piety, but different times. But it's fascinating read. So I keep read, and I separate fact. See, I separate fact or non-factual from belief. I separate religion from spirituality. I separate God from theology because they're different to me. And then I give my hypothesis because that's all it is. It's an educated guess because I get the books from the ones that I protest so I search what they write. I dissect each sentence. I check the etymology. I check the definition. And if need be, the metaphoric. I'm going to find it. Then I'm going to write it, thus give it. And rhyme simultaneously while I do it. Because there's seven names of God, y'all. So who's right? Who's wrong? You know what NASA means in Hebrew? In Hebrew. Lead astray. Deceive. Seduce, delude. They created NASA, y'all, for a space race with the Soviet Union. They know they can't get to the moon. They know goddamn well they can't get to the moon. And then we have to pay $18.5 billion for a rocket to go somewhere that we all know we'll never get to. I'm confused. I'm really confused. But the elite, they know the truth. But I guess so do you. Peace. Creation Bay.